Hello everybody, this is Thor Young with Bearable Traders and I'd like to do a recap for you on my trade today. In today's recap, I most specifically want to talk about how I do ads. Um, we talked about this a little bit in the chat room and I thought um, since we had a lot going on, um, it would be a little bit quicker and easier for me to get this out to you guys this way. So um, one important thing um, that you're going to need for doing ads and all that, of course, is uh, make sure you're getting all your levels and everything from Carlos and Norm in the pre-market show. Make sure you like and subscribe uh, to the channel so that you can go live with those guys in the morning. Um, I keep throwing this out there, man. I, I do these videos and I'm recapping for you guys on at least a you know weekly to daily basis. And you're seeing a lot of these trades and most of these trades are they just are what they are, but they're taking off of very clean levels. And I get those from Carlos and Norm. So anyway, into how I do ads. So CODX um, was um, in a catalyst today. We've got a lot going on uh, with Code Diagnostics Inc. as far as um, testing uh, supplies and stuff like that, I believe, for the uh, uh, coronavirus deal. So it's got some stuff going on. And I believe uh, Andrew actually played it today and played it quite well um, somewhere in this section here. <laughs> Maybe he got a little bit later too. So <clears throat> what I was looking for... Um, on uh, CODX, um, I didn't really get into it early because I generically don't play uh, stocks in the 17 mil float range. It's a little low float for me, so I like to tend to see how those stocks pan out a little bit before I get into them and don't try to be so aggressive. Now, that being said, CODX did a beautiful ABCD off uh, with a nice hammer on the five minute off of VWAP and pre market high. That could have been a very clean. Uh, indicator for a breakup and would have been a really really good entry we also had a pre-market if you use my pre-market uh, breakout strategy um, which is you go long at the break of the pre-market high which is also in this instance would have been a one minute ORB um, I mean CODX really gave like a ton of different patterns and signals so it was a good one so CODX came here and what I was looking for was an entry and I just and I picked um, this level here at 1118 I have off of the daily here and basically what I liked about it here was the bottom of this, you know, it seemed to really be acting as a nice support and a resistance on a bunch of different candles. So I really thought, you know, 18, 15, 20, it would be somewhere right in there. I was really thinking it would be a nice support area. So as it came back towards this level and it lost it, one thing I noticed was that there was kind of similar to the way there is at $13. Right now there's a big stack of bids sitting at like a, sitting around 11 10 11 right above so when it came back down as soon as it lost this level and came down towards vwap it hit that area and then it bounced off and you can see here um, let me get into my one minute chart and you can see it a little bit better there we go all right you can see here it came down and then it bounced right off of this $11 area. And as soon as it came back up after it made a new low here, but then bounced up on high volume on some nice buying volume. And I went ahead and took my position on this. My loss was going to be the loss of VWAP. All right. And then it came up here. I got a nice partial on that, a little bit over a two to one, which is great. Um, but I only dropped about 10% there. Um, and then it pulled back and I did an ad. Now, one, so we're going to talk here now about how I do ads. Now, what I like to do when I do an ad is I actually like to look at the amount of distance I'm willing to lose and then calculate my ad after that. So you'll notice here, now I can zoom in, you'll note, ah, I'm a little off, let me move this here, there we go. You'll notice that after I got this high, I sold off and it really held this 118 level again. Well, I decided that what I would do is I was going to add in and then I would stop out if it lost that level. So I only added in, you know, another 10% of my position because I'd only taken off 10% of my position, but, and I needed, and I only wanted my average to be below that level. So this ad was a very small ad, but it got me back up to a full size position with a little bit tighter of a risk reward. Um, but then it worked. Now that one got pretty close, right? It came all the way down to that level, which is why I, I chose that I wanted it to have to lose these candles. But now I got a nice move up all the way to here. And then I took off. Uh, a nice partial there. I took, I actually dropped 20% there because that was a nice big move and then another 10% here. Now came back here, 
this is where we're really going to get into how I like to do these. This is my classic of how I do ads. So what you're going to wait for, and first off, let's look at the five minute. One of the more important parts is you want to wait for the stock to pull back to a greater average. All right. So you want it to kind of actually make a nice pullback and come back and hold off of an average. You don't want to do an ad off of like the one minute nine. Um, cause that's just really too tight, um, of a pullback. So, and I do that sometimes. I've actually made that mistake and I, and that's why I've kind of moved it to, I want to at least pull back to the great, uh, greater average on like the five minute or something like that. So you're at least down to the hundred moving average on my one minute, right? Cause I like the 20 minute on the five for most of those or the nine. And that's what the 50 and the one represent on my one minute, right? It's going to be your, you know, your, your nine and your 20 on your five minute are going to be your 50 and your 100 on your one minute. So it came back here, it came exactly to this average, and then it threw a hammer, right? That, it's a really strong signal, right? Throwing that hammer, bouncing off of an average right there. We also tried to sell off before a little bit. It found some support here. Couldn't make it through the averages. Couldn't make it through anything. Yeah, that's real nice. So I went ahead and add. This time when I add, I'm only adding to lose this hammer right here, right? So let's call it the 100 moving average to be safe, or even 1150 if you're being conservative. So I add it in here. Now I've got some position left over right from this ad. So, and I've already dropped 30, 40%, right? So I can actually add in some shares. So I added back in an additional 20%, but that still only raised my average up to around 1150. And now we're off again, right? Got some nice moves, pop, pop, all the way up to almost $14. So very happy about that. And I'm actually, so, and when I got these moves, again, we dropped, uh, I dropped 10% here, 10% here. And then I actually dropped 30% here because we had a strong daily level, right? That we're, we're coming up towards. So I dropped 30% when it rejected that daily level because I thought we might actually drop off of it. Not to mention really nice spot to be down to half your shares. Came up here, I dropped another 20%. And now I'm down to around, actually I think that was 25%. Now I'm down to 25% of my position um, remaining and I'm just kind of holding it. Now you can see um, I've adjusted my stop. This actually isn't my break even. My break even is really low, but I decided that I'm, I don't want to give back any more than this sell off. So after this sell off happened and it went really strong, I went ahead and moved my stop out. Now we sell off and held the hundred here. I actually almost added in again, but we were so high up. I decided this time not to do an ad because I didn't want to move my adjusted stop any higher than it already was. So, and that's pretty much how I roll ads. Um, feel free to comment in the, you know, in the comments if you guys have any specific questions about things you're seeing or things you, you know, questions that you have on that. Um, I hope this has kind of helped a little bit. And um, just remember, if you're doing your ad and you're calculating it that way and you're only calculating to risk your pre-existing position, all your profit's going to be safe. So you're only rolling your unrealized. So you can put $50 in your account. You know it's in there. Roll the rest of your position. Even if you stop out, you still got that $50 left over to work with, right? You get that next move up. It works in your direction. Boom, you got it. You got $75 in your account. Now you risk your unrealized and you can keep moving up. In this instance, for me, they were about $100 tips. Every time I was pushing in, I was moving up in $100 tiers. I ended up making around $450 on this trade. So I hope everybody had a great day and I hope you're all keeping it green. Thanks.